Welcome to Buggoos, everyone. Today we'll be meeting the Swarmer, the main foot soldier of your army. They're fast, they're nimble, they work well in large groups, but they have only one health, only one damage. They have no armor, so they're extremely squishy. Three move speed, no attack range, and two attack speed. Oh, we have Marines coming now. We'll send out our wee horde here. And as you can see, the swarm is growing. These guys only take up one population, making them extremely efficient when it comes to spending on nutrients. Now, as you can see, they aren't really closing the gap with the Marines here. But not to fear, we can open the Evolutionary Chamber, and I'm going to show you all the upgrades you can give your little guys here. Okay, so first off, we have Swarmer Guidance. It uh, gives a wee bit more influence to where your attack pins are. They'll listen and group in that location a bit better. So that's the first upgrade. From here, you can go Turing Claws. Now, this affects Swarmers and gives them plus one to damage, which against uh, you know heavier units later in the game is very useful. When it comes to speed hooks, they gain additional movement speed, another fantastic thing, as well as fast twitch muscles, which gives them between both upgrades a total of plus one movement speed making them all the more speedier when it comes up to swarmer influence they'll listen a wee bit better and then we can go to health giving them plus one health now that means once you combine that with the swarmer armor they survive one shot from marines a little better they're not instantly destroyed they'll still die from tanks and flamers but they'll last a little longer now from here you'll wonder well what other upgrades can i get for these little guys well well, firstly, obviously, you want to go the uh, the nutrient harvest to gain nutrients from destroyed buildings and humans. That's quite useful. It applies to everyone, but I highly underrated. Adrenaline's probably the first, like, all-encompassing upgrade to all your buggos, so it gives you plus one movement speed. Again, that's fantastic, and you'll be able to get it as you're moving towards the wasp here. Now, the main items i would say is getting up towards the boom slug you can get corrosive chemicals now this allows buggos that die to cause two damage on the tile that they're on now as you know the swarmers will group together around the likes of a tank or a mech and uh, considering a tank or a mech can't really kill them all that fast every time they do die they'll get, they'll cause two damage which is fantastic giving them a wee bit more to their damage output from here you can do caustic chemicals giving them plus three damage when they die on that tile which again fantastic healthy digestion gives them plus two health and from that stage even little swarmers have to be you know dealt with by the humans and it, it's not very easy for them when you're going through the warrior you can also get interlocking plates given your swarmers plus one armor which means they have two if you got the one back at the beginning razor spines gives plus one damage to all bugs as well so again we're really building a strong powerful army here of swarmers swarm speed is another one from here we can get swarm health giving them an r1 health again another health and another health swarm attack speed as well giving them a total of one extra attack speed once you unlock all of these they do certainly become pretty dangerous now what complements them really well is the Swarm Mother. They allow the spawning of additional Swarmers for no nutrients, which, again, in the late game, especially on, like, hard to impossible difficulty runs, are invaluable. From here, you would, of course, take Well Fed, giving you another plus one health to your Swarmers. From here, you could also go the more motherly route, which means they spawn two Swarmers instead of one. Best parent? They spawn three swarmers instead of one at a time, meaning you need less swarm mothers. And trust me, that gets really good into the late game. Infestation. Now, I normally pick it up because, I, you know, it's nice to have. I haven't seen it make a massive difference on the battlefield, but it gives a 5% chance for a swarmer to spawn on the corpse of a dead human. When you combine that with the likes of artillery and all, it gets really spicy, and then you can upgrade it to give a 10% chance. Uh, Final Farewell is a bit of a weird one. The Swarm Mother dies on death spawning 10 Swarmers. I would recommend you do not put your Swarm Mothers in the face of danger. They fare better slightly back from the front lines. Uh, so keep that in mind. A Mother's Touch is why you would go down this route. Because starting with three Swarm Mothers with their other upgrades is just ludicrous. It's brilliant. I'd also pair them well with a Titan because you can get the regen aura as well. And uh, that obviously helps with your push. Other than that, that's pretty much all the upgrades that there is 
for the Swarmer. You can, of course, go Egg Twins, uh, 10% t- chance and 15% chance for Twins. Again, that is also a pretty fantastic route to go. And, uh, of course, you can give them extra bonuses through the builder with getting Goo, plus 2 armor whilst on Goo, and plus 1 damage when on Goo, um, as well as speed. Uh, when you add all that together, that makes them a pretty good pushing force as well. Uh, so, let's uh, give them a few upgrades here. We've seen earlier that we couldn't close the gap with those Marines. Well, now with the extra speed and damage, can we do it? It's a whole lot easier, isn't it? But yes, that is the Swarmer. They are a fantastic unit. Uh, they fare well, as I said, against every everything bar flamers and rocket men. They do not like either of them, but when you get enough of them into a clump and you pair them up with the likes of boom slugs as well, pushing, uh, with all the upgrades that you can get available, uh, swarmers are incredibly potent, even into the late game. They do drop off in the mid game for some time as you're building up upgrades and using different units, but uh, definitely early to late game, they are... Uh, they're the backbone of your swarm. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll catch you all in the next episode where we're going to meet some more of the buggos in the army. I'll see you later. Thank you.